Uh, this painting titled On the Shores of Love is very interesting because again, I used this image and did a group of three or four paintings with the same image and people say, um, well, who is that? And I had to honestly say on this piece, I don't know who it is. Actually with this piece, that wasn't important because to me she became who I wanted her to be, uh, became this fantasy and that was part and parcel of using her image as an armature to talk about things. In this one, it has uh, these stains that we started, that were done on the floor, which I, I start on the floor and stretched and, and off a lot, and then manipulated on the wall and then back on the floor and then on a table. Um, this one we actually did washes and it was washes very nice, but a little too heavy. So I actually took it into the washout sink in the screen studio and, and took a hose to it and scrubbed it down a bit and got her right, right where, uh, where I'd, I'd like to have it. She's a little ethereal again. I love the fact that she's kind of in the clouds, um, if you will. And I kept looking at her and looking at her and didn't feel indecisive, but it wasn't coming to me exactly what she was about or what her story was. And I think as I looked at her and her eyes became more mystical, I actually started to fall in love with her. It came to my mind to call it On the Shores of Love and I scribbled that across the context of the painting, which I felt was an important way to do it because it was not incredibly sophisticated. It had more to do with just being more honest and direct about my emotions.